boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Cheetahs. The topic is Cheetahs and the title is also Cheetahs. The title usually gives us a good idea about the main topic. It doesn't always match, but it usually gives us a good idea. This time they're the same. Cheetahs. The photograph is of a cheetah. This is a nonfiction book written by Kate Riggs. It has a table of contents to help us figure out which section we want to read. We could read about fast cats. That's on page six. If we wanted to read about their spots, we would go to page eight. If we wanted to learn about those lines on their face, these lines called tear lines, we would go to tear lines and tails on page 10. If we wanted to know what they eat, we would go to page 12. If we wanted to know about baby cheetahs, we'd go to page 14. The nice thing about a book like this, a nonfiction book, a book that teaches us, would be that we don't have to read it from beginning to end. There is no beginning and there is no end. It's all information. It's all facts. Hmm. If I wanted to read about what they eat, I could start there. I'm going to start on page 12. A nonfiction book, you don't have to start in the very beginning. You can start on whatever page you want. And the table of contents helps us find that right page. So I wanted to know what they eat. So I'm going to start here on page 12 because that's where the table of contents sent me. It says, cheetahs eat meat. They chase antelopes. This must be an antelope because this is the cheetah. Sometimes they eat hairs. Hairs? Like their fur? No. That must be why they put this photograph in. That must be a hair. This word is in a different color than the other words. The author wanted to draw our attention to this special word. Sometimes they do that by making the word bold. That means the letters are really fat and dark compared to the other letters in the words. Hmm. This word is green though, and the other words are black. The author wanted us to pay attention to this word. If I still wasn't sure that the word hair was a type of rabbit, I would go to the back of the book, to the glossary, that special dictionary that's in a nonfiction book, and I would look up this special word and read the definition. Let's do that. The glossary is always in the back of the book. The glossary is a section of words that you should know in order to read the book. We're looking for the word hares. It was green on our page. Oh, there it is. Hares. Rabbit-like animals that live in Africa. Oh, well, we were right. We used the photograph to come up with a definition for the word hares. We should always look at all the features in a nonfiction textbook. That way we can look at the photographs and it can help us understand words like antelope and hares. Now, although you don't have to start in the beginning of the book with a nonfiction book, sometimes I do anyway because that's a good way to get all the facts and not forget any of them. And I really want to know all about cheetahs. So I'm going to go back and I think I will read it from the beginning to the end, but you don't have to. I'm going to because I don't want to miss anything. Hello, cheetahs. Cheetahs are fast cats. They live in Africa and Iran. There's one of those special words. That was in our glossary. So cheetahs are fast. Cheetahs have spotted fur. The spots are black. The fur is light brown or yellow. I know another type of spotted cat. We read about, we read about jaguars. Their spots are a little bit different than a cheetah's. Let's look carefully at the two. Do you see how they are different? 
Jaguars had rosettes, remember? And it was almost like a polka dotted circle with a dot or two in the middle of it. That was called a rosette. Cheetahs don't have those. Also, jaguar fur is a little bit more orange. I mean, it's kind of orangey brown. And then cheetahs, they have a little bit more yellow and light brown in theirs. So there's a color difference too. So they are not the same. So their spots are black, their fur is light brown or yellow. Cheetahs have black tear lines on their face. It's called a tear line because it looks like they are crying. That's where a tear would go if they were crying. That's a tear line. Jaguars don't have those. Cheetahs have long tails. Cheetahs eat meat. They chase antelopes. Sometimes they eat hares. They must be really fast to catch those kinds of animals. A baby cheetah is called a cub. Cubs live with their mother. Most adult cheetahs live in groups. Cubs like to play. Adult cheetahs look for food. They rest when it is too hot to hunt. Goodbye cheetahs. Oh, it's a diagram of a cheetah. I just love diagrams. Diagrams show you the parts of something and they label it. We can see his ears, his eye. Oh, and they give us a close up. Tear lines. See the lines over here and the line down here? Those are tear lines. His nose, his teeth. I can see they're quite sharp. So nowhere did it tell me that cheetahs have sharp teeth but I can look at the photographs and get that key detail from the photographs. Here are their claws, his foot, his leg, and I can see that his legs are long, and I can see that his head is small. Those are more key details that they don't tell me in the words, in the text of the book, but I can get that information by looking carefully at the photograph. Nonfiction books, you should still look very carefully at the photographs because there's information there for us. Some of the words to know in the glossary was Africa. It's the second biggest piece of land in the world. Fur is short, hairy coats on an animal. Hairs are rabbit-like animals that live in Africa. And tear lines are the black markings on the fur of a cheetah's face. Another feature that nonfiction books have is an index. The index tells us where to find the special words. Like if I wanted to read about Africa and I wanted to know what page Africa was on, I'd look on page six. It talks about fur on page eight and nine. It talked about meat on page 12. So those were some of the special words. If I was going to tell somebody about cheetahs, I should be using these special words to do it. And if I wanted to know what page they came on, I would look on the index. The index and the glossary are in the back of the book. Thank you for reading about cheetahs with me today.